am not saying this is a copycat. I am not Mr. Lebowski. You're Mr. Lebowski. I'm the dude. So in this video, I'm going to tell you why you should absolutely not copy your competitors and how you should be using your competitors instead. A lot of people told me for I don't know exactly what reason that I should be like wearing more makeup and skirts like other girls do. Somehow other girls are competitors. Mm, no. Beyond the fact that they are absolutely not my competitors because I do not believe in the existence of competition, the thing is that I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do the things that I don't think are good for me. I don't think I should, because I would not be confident. I would probably be able to talk, I wouldn't be able to interact with other people, or I would do that in a bad way. I wouldn't be able to do it like I usually do, not wearing makeup and a skirt, and so I'm not doing it. This is the same way I want you to consider your competitors. I don't want you to copy them just for the sake of copying them. First thing first, people do not like copycats unless they are looking for something fake, like a Prada bag or that kind of stuff. You do not want to be a fake Prada bag. They do not want you, they want what you look like. But that's somehow the way you want to get customers, because you want some kind of people to like you for what you are. But still, you want to look like what you want to look like. That's complicated, but it's simple. If you're faking your identity, your true identity, you will not be confident enough. And so those who you think should be liking you for that way you show up will end up not liking you because you're not what they... Ex I mean, oh, just do not copy your competitors. You want to use them as a negative model. You want to look at them and think that's what I do not want to be. Maybe because you do not like actually what they are and that's a way to not have competitors. So look at your competitor and think, okay, that's what I'm not going to be. You want to be you because you want to be an alternative for your customers. That's being different. You, you're not different because you choose a different color for your logo. You are different because you have different values and you're showing a different future to your potential customers. And that's it. That's how you want to be different. If you're selling cats, you have to sell cats. You cannot sell dogs. You should just say that your cats are different from your competitors' cats because they are uh, immortal. That's what cat owners actually want, an immortal cat. So if you can create immortal cats, you're gonna be rich. So let me do a little bit of self-promotion here and let me talk about my online course. It's called the Good Marketing Method and it's totally different from any other course you might have noticed around the web. Because I will not tell you how to do stuff with Photoshop, I will not tell you how to do Facebook ads. I will not tell you how to write sales letters. I will not tell you how to do things. That's something you have to come up for your own business in your own way. And so this is an online course to do just that. It's a method. So we'll tell you more about it in the next video because I'm about to publish. So after I publish that, you will find a link in the description below. In the description below, you can also find the link to download today's freebie, which is a little infographic to find out how you can be different from your competitors. In the description below, you can also find links to connect with me on other social media. So if you do not have a YouTube account, we can totally take the discussion outside of YouTube. But in case you do have a YouTube account, like the video, subscribe to my channel for more marketing tips, and let's make everyone love your business as much as you do. Thanks for watching and see you next time with a new quick marketing tip and a new downloadable freebie.